Hi, this is Craig Campana, and this particular tutorial follows my series of how to set up your blog. This one in particular, what I wanted to cover was how easy it is to complete a blog post. That's uh, of the businesses that I talk to, they have the feeling that it just takes too long, to, first of all, to set up their blog and second to actually post once they have their blog set up. And I wanted to use this tutorial as an opportunity to share with you how easy it can be. Uh, once you're organized, it's important that you do, you know, think about your blog a little bit and have uh, some thoughts in terms of uh, what you want to post about and things of that nature. But what I want to do is uh, show you, I'm actually going to create a blog post live here. And uh, to show you how long it takes, I have this timer on the screen. I'm actually going to start it. And uh, one of the things that I have is prior to this, I actually did take the time to enter my content. I have it typically in a Microsoft Word document. So at that point, I've written my blog. And all I have to do is really cut and paste it. This is what I recommend doing. And um, so it's really easy to cut and paste your information into your blog. So I am going to start my timer here and get going to create my blog post. All I'm doing at this point is I'm just really taking the information, cutting and pasting it into my blog format. As you notice, the content, the way I have it positioned, is I've created some uh, different visuals that I think are going to complement the information that I'm including. And so I just put them in here kind of as a place marker so you can see. Okay, so I'm basically going to keep cutting and pasting, and then I will be adding. I'm going to leave some spaces so that I can add that particular visual. One of the things that's real important is uh, as you're looking to put together a blog, there's really uh, so many different possibilities that you can do. And uh, if you've ever delivered a presentation or you've attended a presentation or workshop, those are all possible blog topics. And, you know, you can actually put your thoughts together. This particular uh, blog post that I'm putting together actually was, uh, it, it tells a little bit about my personal situation. Uh, the topic, as you may have seen at the top, is all about uh, listener hacks and its position for men only and the women they love. It's kind of an interesting title and it's definitely, I think, going to catch some attention, which is typically what you want to do when you're creating a blog post. Okay, so this is going to get to the end of my blog. And then, as I said, I have different visuals that I want to cut in. And the first one is going to be right here between these two paragraphs. And um, I've actually entered the information in prior. All you have to do is add media. And we have a uh, media file system that you can actually upload different photographs into. Uh, I've already taken the opportunity to do that. I just have to actually search for the proper uh, photograph at this point once they all start loading. I'm going to go down a ways because it's, let's see here. I have different backgrounds and different things that I put into my blog and different photographs. Uh, sometimes it can be motivational quotes that you can put in there. Um, this is taking a little longer than usual to actually load the photographs because I have so many in there. But um, the thing about it is, is, you know, gives you an opportunity to 
take a look and you know create the type of post that you want. Okay, here's that particular image that I want to insert. I just click on it. And let's see that one I want to center. Okay, this particular visual is going to go right here. Oops. Insert media. And that's the one there. Insert into post. So you're looking at under five minutes at this point. My blog is almost done with the exception of a few final details. Typically the, the actual writing of the blog you know, can take anywhere from 10 minutes to several hours. I did actually have a rather emotional blog that I put together uh, about uh, a life experience that I had. I was a victim of a shooting and that one tended to be a little bit more emotional than normal and so that one I actually did take a little bit of time to write but typically you know um, it can actually come together rather quickly. Okay, insert media. I hope this inspires you to take action to actually create a blog because it really is very easy uh, to put together. Okay. Okay, and that particular photograph will be at the end here. Once again, I'm going to center that as well. Okay, so for the most part, my blog is complete. Uh, as far as content wise, I'm going to probably do some other things to spice it up. Um, and that would be to actually increase the sizes and the colors and things of that nature. Um, but what I want to show you to go one step further is you want to be thinking of um, in terms of your keywords and so I've actually created the keywords already and those you actually add in two different places you want to add them number one as your tags and then second as your keywords and what this would be for the SEO title essentially you are just taking the title of the blog. Whoops, stay there. The title of the blog and inserting it. And this is going to share information on your blog that will actually go into the social media channels. Also, uh, you want to have a couple of little bits of information that you can put into social media. And so this would be a description. You can actually cut and paste that uh, into blog excerpt and share description, which basically is gonna create a Facebook version for you. In this particular instance, I wanted to include something a little bit longer for the blog post Oops. to share. And then the final thing you want to do is you want to set some kind of a feature image. And this is a really important piece that you want to consider uh, because to really make it stand out, you want to include some kind of a photograph. I included uh, or decided to use this particular photograph and um, seems to be one that I think will probably stand out. But essentially in just under eight minutes, Everything is pretty much ready to go. At this point, I'm going to save draft. Now, as I said, I'm going to do some fine tuning in terms of adding some color, uh, emphasizing some different things in terms of um, the different uh, sections. But um, OK, so the draft has gone through. At this point, then I can make whatever modifications that I want. 
and I can actually then post it rather quickly. Okay. My computer is a little sluggish today, but um, but generally, you know, at that point, you know, definitely under 10 minutes, you would have your blog done and you can go on from there. So anyway, um, I wanted to, with the exception of the fine tuning that I'm going to do in, front of, in terms of colorizing the um, titles and things of that nature, uh, I wanted to prove the point that you could actually write a blog in under 10 minutes. I should say you should you can post a blog. Uh, obviously the writing took a little bit longer but um, not that much and you know it's an opportunity for you to share information about yourself, your your life, uh, get your information out about your business, things of that nature and um, very easily can be done. So anyway um, as I said there's some fine-tuning that I want to do um, and I can just color the, the different lines. I want to actually feature different colors to make them stand out and also a little bit different sizing. And if you start a color theme you definitely want to continue with that so it doesn't get too outlandishly looking. Okay, and each or each of these elements I want to color so they're consistent. And I'm going to color these last two areas as well. And I actually want to blow them up a little bit bigger because there's an emphasis to the end. But essentially, you can select a call to action. Um, there's different features that you can do. At this point, I think I'm pretty well set to publish. And all you do once you're ready to go is actually click publish and you're set to go. So it's actually live on my site at this point. Once I click publish, it's taking a little bit of time to process. And now I can actually view the post by clicking right here. Once you've actually completed your post, it gives you an opportunity to uh, send it out to various social media avenues, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, so you can get your information out there rather quickly. My computer's chugging a bit, but now be, we will be able to see the posts that we've just created in uh, under 15 minutes. I should be playing that Jeopardy music while we're waiting for this to post. But here it is, basically live on my site. So that shows you how easy it is to actually create a, create a post. You can click on it and here is all of the elements that I entered in. It's very easy to do. Now if I had any video that I wanted to include, you can see these little video snippets that I have on YouTube. I could actually include one of those as well. I'll, I'll have a different module about using video, but essentially uh, this is as easy as it, as it is to post your blog and be able to put it into the social media realms. So anyway, I hope that was beneficial and help you understand a little bit about how easy it is 
to actually post your information, get your blog out there. And um, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. You can reach me on either of my blogs, which is craigcampana.com or thegreatbizcardhunt.com, or you can email me at thegreatbizcardhunt at outlook.com.